What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American, here today to react and learn about what Canadians say about Toronto versus Vancouver. Today, we're putting two of Canada's most famous cities head to head to see what Canadians have to say, both good and bad, about both cities. Uh, Toronto and Vancouver, these are Canadian cities that most of us Americans have at least heard of, but we really don't know much about, really. So today I'm really interested to see what Canadians have to say about Toronto and Vancouver, and maybe some controversial sort of comparisons about what they like about each or dislike, and that sounds very interesting to me. So let's take a look. What do you think of the city? Vancouver's great. Yeah, oh. it's great. Yeah, very different vibe, I think, from Toronto. Well, okay. Toronto is huge compared to Vancouver. Yeah. Like, Vancouver is a great place, but it is a small city. What makes it great is it's in BC. Yeah. It's in a beautiful oh. place. I'd say Vancouver. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, man, there's a lot of stuff coming at me. I love this. I love that they're just interviewing random Canadians, like, on the street to see what they have to say. It's kind of funny, because if they're interviewing people in Vancouver, for instance, they're, those people, those Canadians, are probably going to say good things about Vancouver, right? Unless, <laughs> couldn't, couldn't they get beat up <laughs> if they're just in Vancouver like, yeah, this place stinks, this sucks, like, I wish I was in Toronto, or if, if they're doing that in Toronto and they're like, this place is the worst. People, Canadians are at least going to give them a look. Like, what'd you say? Uh, this is really interesting. This, this, uh, this guy here that he was interviewing was actually saying that he, he notices there's a huge difference in size between Vancouver and Toronto, and that makes a big difference for him. I didn't really even know that. That's great to know, actually. So Toronto, I know that's the biggest Canadian city, but according to this guy, Toronto is like, way bigger than Vancouver, which is cool in its own way. It's probably much busier, a lot more activity, probably a lot more business and connections and stuff. But Vancouver, if it's smaller, I could see a lot of people enjoying that aspect as well. More of a smaller city feel, maybe not so crazy and hectic and stuff like that. That's really interesting. And he liked, this guy liked Vancouver because it was in British Columbia, which... From what I have heard, Canadians really do love British Columbia. Like, this, it's amazing, outdoorsy, fantastical, magical province from, from what I've heard with all this crazy nature and mountains and stuff. That's cool. That, that's a good point about Vancouver. Okay, let's keep going. Small city. What makes it great is it's in BC. Yeah. It's in a beautiful place. Okay. I'd say Vancouver's like Toronto, but with like the mountains and water. Oh my God. I, like, seriously, look at this. Um, this Canadian said they're very similar, except Vancouver has mountains. I mean, that's hard to argue. Like, mountain, are, aren't mountains, like, just objectively better than no mountains? That is an incredible view right there. Man, that's crazy that uh, Vancouver is surrounded by mountains like this. That is, okay, <laughs> I'm getting lost in the mountains watching. Let's keep going. I think I definitely lean more to the West Coast just because yeah. I enjoy the uh, the oh. outdoors aspect that we have here. Okay. It's kind of hard to resist the, the mountains and the oceans that we have. Yeah, I, I totally get it. It's more outdoorsy. Does Vancouver feel outdoorsy? There are canoe, they're, they're in a paddle boat or canoe there paddling with mountains in the background. That's hard to argue against. I want to hear some Canadians talk about good things about Toronto to like even this out maybe. Nearby? Yeah. Vancouver is much more outdoorsy. Mm -hmm. Okay. The weather is better. Even oh. It rains, it's not as cold. People are a little friendlier. It still has oh. that city kind of isolation yeah. vibe. Yeah. Yeah. People, people are friendlier. That's a, that's a hot take right there. All right. Is there a noticeable difference between, between how, how do you even say this? Vancouver, Vancouverans? Vancouverites? And Toron Torontonians, <laughs> maybe? Is there a difference in niceness? Are all Canadians have like a stereotype, us Americans stereotype Canadians that all Canadians are polite. Never done a bad thing in your life. 
Um, so I wonder if there's a, a difference in the actual people that live in these two cities. Easy to meet new people in Toronto. I think it's pretty easy in general. It's a very friendly city, mm -hmm. like like any big city. Oh. You still there's like that hesitation sometimes when you. He's talking about Toronto. He's saying uh, people are real friendly in Toronto. So now I'm hearing both sides of this. Want to like talk to some a stranger or something like that? But in general, like everybody's Canadian. Everybody's really friendly, yeah. polite. So there, it's like, yeah. yeah, there you go. Toronto, it's easy to make friends. Yeah, it's easier to make friends in Toronto. People here are friendly. <laughs> They're just. They're just more willing to chat. Toronto is... People, people are friendly in Toronto. So I'm getting mixed signals here. I, I'm getting that both cities have friendly people, which is great to hear, honestly. That's great. It's like economical capital, right? Yeah. So it's all about the money. Everybody, nobody has time, you know? So you don't really oh. meet people on the street just willy-nilly. Um, oh. You really have to be a part of something. Join a cycling group, whatever, and then you'll meet people. What about Toronto? Interesting. So uh, this guy was talking about Toronto here. He was saying Toronto feels really busy. And that's honestly what I expected to hear more of because Toronto is bigger. Like it's got a lot of the business in Canada, I think. Uh, people are really hustling and grinding. And, and he's saying it's like people are busy like in their own bubble like in Toronto and you got to join a club or something to maybe meet people. That makes a ton of sense to me. This is not a criticism of Toronto. That's like would make sense to me that Toronto would be kind of more, I don't know, busy, more business centered. People like got more, I don't know, like more intention of just like getting to work and like making their way in this crazy city. And Vancouver seems maybe more laid back, a little smaller maybe more easygoing. Is that a fair analysis? I only have like a couple of Canadian opinions to go on so far, but seems like the real great thing here is depending on what you like, Toronto and Vancouver are very, very different. And you can kind of pick which one you'd rather have based on your goals or, or what kind of community or, or drive or passion you have, I, I think to be a part of something, join a cycling group, whatever, and then you'll meet people. What about Toronto? Okay. I mean, it's too, it's too, uh, the people there are not nice. <laughs> really? They're not nice over there. You know, like people in Toronto. Oh, no. Like, when I went there first, you know, I dealt with a lot of uh, mean folks. <laughs> Why? Me? Oh, no. Here we go. This is what we came for. Uh, the real hot takes. Controversial opinion here. This man is saying straight up, the people in Toronto aren't nice. What what kind of blanket statement is that? Here's the thing. This is coming from like from my American point of view. Anytime I'm in a big American city, like whatever, if it's New York City or like what, Chicago or Los Angeles, um, people are like in their own world. People are busy like in big cities. People aren't nice. Like they're not known for being nice in American cities. And I can definitely, like, confirm a lot of that. It's not that people are mean. It's just that when you're in a big American city, like, it's kind of like kill or be killed. Not literally. Sometimes literally. But <laughs> hopefully, no, oh my God. This is getting off the rails a little bit. Um, it's kind of just like eat or be eaten. Everyone's, like, got stuff to do and seem real busy. Um, so that was my default kind of stance going in to this. Where it's like, okay, if you're in a big city, I don't expect people to, like, be the friendliest. Um, that's how it is a lot of times in American cities. And so hearing this Canadian be like, Toronto, <laughs> people in Toronto, not nice, mean, mean to me. It's like, okay, okay dang. Okay, I, I, that doesn't shock me because it is a big city. But I think that is kind of like a blanket statement like you can't just say that about everyone in toronto right right hate racism what's up i guess they don't have time for you yeah. <laughs> i am not a huge fan of toronto oh why, why so um i find it very cold personality wise interesting really yeah i find people are very distant okay. everyone is living in their own little bubble mm -hmm. it's very money focused oh, yeah and everyone always has somewhere to be very quickly. That, she is describing just what I think of big cities. People got stuff to do. If you're living in a big city, you also have maybe a certain, if you, if you moved to a big city, you might have a personality.
that's like drawn to that kind of like someone who likes to be in a hustle and bustle, busy, active city. Everyone's doing something. Um, and it's tough to slow down and smell the roses, maybe. Um, but it's also really cool to live in one of the biggest cities in the world. I think that must be cool. Feel like you're on the cutting edge. So anyway, uh, this is just giving me a lot of thoughts about this. It's really fun hearing Canadians talk about Toronto and Vancouver. Because uh, this kind of, this all I have, this all I have to go on, like, is just the opinions of, of these people actually living there. Um, so it's really actually fascinating to me. Do you think it's easy in general to make new friends in Vancouver? What do you think, Zoe? I think it's pretty easy to make friends in Vancouver. Yeah. Like, as long as you okay. are, like, kind of, like, and know what's going on, like, know what's happening in the community, and, like, you go to those events. But if you're not in the loop of those things, then you probably, like, it's much harder to make friends, I think. Yeah, yeah. So this is true of Vancouver and Toronto. Uh, it's probably, it's tough to make friends if you're not, like, in a club or an activity. You're not, you can't just expect people to talk to you, like, randomly on the street. Like, may, maybe that's a product of the modern day. Maybe back in the good old days, people talked more on the streets randomly, waiting for the bus, and you could become lifelong friends with some random person you met at the bus stop. But probably not so much anymore, and, and that makes sense to me for, for both cities. It's hard to make friends in Vancouver. Yeah? People in Vancouver are cold. People in Vancouver are nice, but they're not necessarily going to say, hey, come on in, come hang out. I, I think in Toronto, people are like that. That's my vibe. Is it more diverse? I'm hearing both. Like, I, I am not getting a good sense right now of whether Canadians prefer Toronto or Vancouver. I am literally, it is a split decision right now. I am hearing both positive and negative things about Toronto and Vancouver. Um, there's nice, there's mean people in Toronto. It's not easy to make friends in Vancouver. Uh, so I, I don't know what to think yet at this point. In Toronto though? Yes. Way more diverse? Yes. Vancouver is just Asian people. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. He said, is it diverse in Toronto? Yes. Way more diverse? Yes. Vancouver is just Asian people. <laughs> oh, okay. See, this is stuff like I never knew. This is very interesting. Is, is there a lot of Asian people living in Vancouver? From like what parts of Asia? Like this is not something that Americans think of when we think of Canada for that matter, even though I think um, like Mandarin is really one of the top languages in Canada. I randomly learned a while back. So there is a big Asian population. I'm not sure where they're from. What parts of Asia? It's a, many different kinds of Asian people, but like Toronto has more than just Asian people. There is a lot okay. of diversity in Toronto as well. So if you want a restaurant ah. of a particular culture, you are going to be able to find it no problem. Yeah. That's cool. There's a bigger Asian population in Vancouver, and there's just a more diverse worldwide sort of population in Toronto. That's that's what I'm getting out of this part. But Vancouver's pretty diverse as well. You have everything, bro. Like okay. mul it's multicultural here. That's why people come come here, you know what I mean? There's so many like different type of people here, so yeah. everybody loves it here, I think. Nice. Everybody that I know. I would say Toronto's a little bit more diverse. I feel like in okay. Vancouver there are definitely more pockets of cultures yeah. where people tend to cluster together amongst themselves. Okay. Yeah. Toronto, it seems a little bit more spread out. Everyone's just kind of like a big mixing pot. What I'll divide is that in Toronto. Interesting. Okay, so they're, de they're definitely saying, uh, for what it's worth, Toronto is much more diverse. People from all walks of life, from all sorts of backgrounds and cultures, which is really, really cool. That's an amazing thing. Yeah, well, I think it depends where you are, right? Toronto's a huge city. Huge city. So down here, downtown, we're in financial district, and so I try to avoid it. <laughs> but it's like, you know, business, quick, you know, kind of vibe. But other parts, we've got the beach, we've got oh. markets, we've got some great entertainment areas. Oh so it really depends where you go. We also have tons of green space here. Yeah. So I love getting into the ravines and into the, the forest in Toronto, which is cool. That's one. There's forests in Toronto? There's beaches? In Toronto? Forests? Uh, interesting. So that, that is really cool. I don't think it can possibly compare to the nature around Vancouver, though, right? Vancouver's literally got, like, forests and mountains 
Because that's just like what British Columbia is right, uh, as far as I know. One of the reasons I stayed in Toronto, it's fun. There's so much to do. There's oh. shows on, there's events. Um, the music here is better. The festivals are better. The city is alive. The nights stay warm at night, so you yeah. can just go out with friends that stay at the park late and not get cold. Oh, wow. Late nights at the park? <laughs> you can't beat that, can you? Uh, this is a great point. She's basically saying the obvious, but I don't think I thought about this. Toronto is gigantic. Apparently, it's much bigger than Vancouver. Um, I don't think I can really appreciate its sense of scale, like just sitting here in my, <laughs> my chair watching this on video. But t taking her word, that's, that counts for a lot, doesn't it? That Toronto has a lot of stuff, a ton of stuff to do. I think that's a huge perk of living in Toronto then, is you could probably... N there'd be no end to the different activities and restaurants and places you could explore in such a massive city, right? It's just the city here is, there's more to do. Theater, okay. Jays games, hockey. Okay. It's a patio hockey. culture, I would say, here. Yeah. Patio culture, tell me about it. Culture. Oh, you know, like having a beer, having a coffee out on the patio. <laughs> I, I think okay. Vancouver's definitely got like the edge on just like more environmentally friendly. It's a little- Oh my God, look at this. I am just, cont I guess, I guess as a personality, I love to see like the nature mixed in to like the city. And there's there's really nothing like this kind of <laughs> imagery here in in American cities, at least that I've been to. This this is just insane. Whenever I see th that there's mountains and forests and trees around Vancouver, I, I find that really cool. A little bit cleaner. It's a little bit easier to get around with the transportation with the biking. So it's. I feel like it's more of like a family city. Um, I've been spending a lot of time on the beach. Um, the beach. And also going for hikes because yeah. wow. where I'm from, you can't just take a city bus to go on a hike, which is pretty amazing. I like the fact that I wow. can go hiking in the morning, yeah. go to the beach by the afternoon, and then hit a nightclub by the nighttime. So. <laughs> <laughs> the mountains, the beach, then the nightclub, a true uh, Vancouverian day <laughs> there. That's pretty cool. I'm seeing a lot of pros of both cities. I have yet to been, I have not been swayed in either direction completely. It really just seems to depend on your personality, which city is the right fit for you. But let's keep going. What about the nightlife? Does it compare? That's, a, that's one for you. Because you've been to both. What about the nightlife intro to She's laughing like, yeah. what's happening there? The I, nightlife. I definitely think the nightlife's a little bit better in Toronto, yeah. I have to say. Okay. I have to give them the vote. I mean, it's a bigger city, more more people. I do think Vancouver's kind of lacking in that aspect. Exactly. Like, that's a perfect, perfect example. If you're, like, the type who wants to wake up at 5 a.m. and go on a mountain bike ride, do yoga, and get a bowl of a salad, like, you probably want to be in Vancouver. But if you want to, like, walk around this crazy, busy, lively city and then hit the clubs at the end of the night and then go to go to the beach and have a drink, um, maybe you want to be in Toronto. So it totally depends on just what you want, which is I never realized how almost polar opposite <laughs> these two Canadian cities are. They're really very, very different. Lacking or totally dead? It's pretty dead. Yeah. Well, Vancouver has no nightlife, so... <laughs> Vancouver has no nightlife. Okay. I mean, I, if you want to go out on Granville Street to the Roxy or whatever, power to you, but... I think it's pretty lit, to be honest. Mm -hmm. You but think it's so? Not, it's, it's not, lit. like, the best, yeah. but... I ah! love it when I'm here. You, you heard it here. Vancouver nightlife is lit. It's not, it's not that bad says that Canadian. It's more like dining and experiences with friends rather yeah. than like going out to nightclubs. Look at, look at behind them. What is, is this like a cruise ship? Like behind them? Is this Vancouver? Um, what don't you like about Toronto? Something you would change about Toronto in general? Ooh, ah, I don't know. I love everything. <laughs> ah. I hate the TTC. I hate oh. the TTC. I still would say the- What's the, what is the TTC? What is that? She hates it.
<laughs> what is that? Feel free to let me know. <laughs> Public transportation. I think that would invite more people to come into the city and actually be able to navigate around and it, you know, bring people together as opposed to fighting for a parking spot. Oh, he's he's saying that the public transportation in Vancouver is not that good and the public transportation might be better in Toronto. So there's another there's another point. I'm shocked that in the decades I've been here, they haven't been building subways the whole time. Yeah. Prices of things a little little expensive. Sometimes. Too expensive, eh? Right. Yeah. Traffic on the highways, traffic downtown. It's yeah. not a very pedestrian friendly city. I hate the noise. I mean, it's, it's oh. a big city. I happen to live here. I admit I don't love cities. So it's loud, the cars, like it's just. <laughs> she doesn't like cities and she's living in Toronto, the biggest Canadian city. Okay, that's interesting. It's loud that <laughs> I'm not even going to put that down as a con. Like cities are going to be loud that if the city was not loud, it'd almost be scary. It'd be like a horror movie. You're walking around this giant city and it's just silent. Be like, what is going on here? Be scary. They should be loud. They should be a little hectic. I think that's part of the fun in a way. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I, I enjoy visiting a city, you know. Um, I don't know if I'd want to live in a big major city and just be around that all the time. That's a lot of stimulation, I gotta say. And they made some great points talking about the cost of living. I don't know much about that. I would, I would think the cost of living is really, really high in both Vancouver and Toronto. I don't think you can really make a comparison there. It's just gonna be high in, in those huge cities. It's a lot, which is why I don't come down here very often. And something you would change about Vancouver. Oh. I can't even tell you. I mean, it's cool. Huh. He loves it. Stop capping, man. You got them. You love Vancouver like this. Uh, they make it cheaper. It's it's super expensive. 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 <laughs> Drugs are quite a big thing here. The drug problem. Yeah. Homeless problem. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of homelessness. Uh, which is amplified by the weather, right? It's mm -hmm. nicer weather throughout the year, so you're yeah. gonna have more people. Sure, sure, sure. I'm glad they're getting into some of these like subjects, like uh, homelessness, cost of living, those kinds of things are. Huge problems in so many American cities as well. This doesn't shock me or anything. Yeah. Choosing to live outdoors. I've had enough friends who've tried to move to Vancouver and they last a year maybe and really? they realize they don't have friends, they don't like the rain, whatever it is, and they rain. leave. It's very common for people from Ontario to go try it out and then, and then leave. Does it rain a lot in Vancouver? Is that a thing? I don't know about it. No one said anything about rain. I don't, I don't know now. <laughs> Does it rain a lot? Vancouver, I don't know that I can identify something that I hate about Vancouver. But I know who goes to Vancouver loves Vancouver. I guess the weather, the weather. The, okay. the, the winters, weather. right? Like yeah. the rainy, oh, the weather. gray kind of winters, I suppose. All right, and also don't forget. Oh, that's it. That's it. We're just left with the rain. Finally, so that, was, that was an interesting criticism right at the very end. Um, does it not rain in Toronto? I don't know. I guess not. But it's warmer in Vancouver, they said. Warmer. Colder in Toronto, but less rain. Interesting trade-off. This is a really interesting video, actually. Um, they, they went kind of all over the place with the questions. But I, I thought that was really cool to, to see Canadians' opinions on this. This was by Say Prez, and I gotta give this video a like. It's very good. It's it really cool where they were just walking up to random Canadians in both cities and just asking them, like, what do you like about it here? What do you not like about it here? And I don't know, even now that it's over, the jury is out. The, the opinions are split. There were good and bad things about both cities. And I'll say it again, the number one thing I think I learned is Toronto and Vancouver are very different. Very, very different in, in several ways. And uh, there are benefits to both and drawbacks to both. And depending on your personality and what you enjoy, the living atmosphere you enjoy, you know, going about your life in, you can choose either one to live in. They're on literal opposite sides of Canada. Like, it couldn't be more opposite, these two cities. And I think that's actually really great. I think that's really cool. So I, I don't think I can make a judgment, uh, like, about which one I think is better or anything. I heard things that were good and bad about both cities. 
And I, I think that's just fine to leave it at that, I think. I, I enjoyed this quite a bit for what it was. Anyway, if you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment, perhaps with your opinion on uh, which Canadian city you prefer, Toronto or Vancouver. This could be opening up a huge can of worms, but whatever, <laughs> the can is open. Um, which city you prefer and why, why you like, what things you like and dislike about these two amazing Canadian cities. That'd be very interesting to hear about. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Canada and Canadian culture, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.